Hi everybody, welcome back for a, another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about some of my journal and planning favorites. I have a few items here, uh, not as many as I would have had in the past. Uh, the last hmm, 10 or so days, wait, seven, eight, nine, nine days, eight or nine days, we didn't have any air conditioning because our air conditioning unit uh, stopped working. Um, they thought maybe it needed new um, Freon or coolant, and it wasn't that, it wasn't taking it. There was something else wrong with it, and with it being summer in Oklahoma, that meant there was no replacement unit for what we needed for our uh, apartment in the state of Oklahoma. So we had to order it and it arrived actually today, a day early. So very, very thankful for that because um, it's been quite hot in Oklahoma. Uh, the coolest day it was 89, 87 to 89. Um, and every other day it was like 94, 95. And with, you know, the heat index and humidity, it was feeling like it was 100, 101. So we had all the ceiling fans going and two box fans and one of those oscillating fans. And so, yeah, it was quite exciting. <laughs> so I do have a few things here. And um, we're gonna have some fun going through all of these things. This is my little quartet, one, two, three, four, quartet of uh, Traveler's Notebook and Folios by Brie at Documented Journey. The first one I got was this cute little passport. I was gonna use it as a wallet, um, but I switched to a um, pocket rings at that time. So I moved a bunch of inserts that I made out of Midori MD paper, the cream paper in here. And as you can see, I've been using them to um, test a lot of the art supplies that I have. Um, so a lot of the supplies in here are nice, but the last, I guess, three or four days I've been doing a big purge of traveler's notebooks and art supplies. So some of these art supplies aren't even, I, I let them go, I don't have them anymore. Um, but so there's that. This one is my field notes that I've been using, I won't open that because it's got my IDs and stuff, that I've been using as my wallet. I've got my on the go calendar, my wallet, and then like this for lists for like the grocery store today or some stuff I was researching. I really want to get a Hydra flask and I wonder what people think, what size I should get and all that. I'm not quite sure. I want to get a strong, sturdy water bottle that I won't have to replace. So there's that. But then I have these two. This one has my it's an actual traveler's notebook. There's no pockets, and it's it's really pretty. I kind of wish I went with the olive color on the inside now, but the black is actually quite nice because I might turn this into a watercolor notebook. We'll see. Um, it has my personal calendar, our home calendar. It has my weekly schedule, which you can see I haven't really been planning much. Um, and then my notes notebook. And then the last one is my olive folio, which I turned into a traveler's notebook. I actually put inserts or elastics in it myself, but I have my weekly journal insert. This was last week. This is this week. Just some little bits and things in there. Um, then I have a folder with some stuff. Some Mindy Lacefield cards are so adorable. Look at that. Drink me. It's Alice. Um, that's a body tree leaf. 
my little thirsty drinking the tea Kermit since I've been going through my items and and really looking at what I have I discovered this writing board this I made back in 2014 and I used it um, because I wanted to get one of these uh, from the previous year but they I couldn't find one so when they finally had the 2015 ones I you know stopped using this one but I pulled it out and I thought everybody has you know all the, I've got all the Midoriya's from 2015 on everybody has those no one has anything this cool and so I I pulled it out and and I love having a writing board um, sometimes uh, you know Sometimes the paper can be a little slick, and so I will, you know, give myself something hard to write on. And that also prevents, um, when using a gel pen, you know, the paper, especially if it's a thin paper, from getting too, um, uh, that pressure on it, where it, you can feel it through there. So, this is something new that I did. This is a Midori. MD, I got some journaling things, uh, a Midori MD uh, notebook. It's the Coptic stitched one, uh, just with the hard craft, uh, the hard cardstock that's cream. Um, I started this at the beginning of the year <laughs> as a bullet journal, and it last, that lasted all like a week. Um, and my word for the year was balance. <sighs> this year, Sure, it has not been balanced, but it has taught me a lot, this, this word and this year. Um, so I, I, I cut out my old key, and I cut out this because I wanted to keep it and to remember it. And then some little notes, a quote from Deepak Chopra, and then some little different quotes that I found that I liked. A couple of them are, um, like Craft a Life You Love, that's, um, Amy Tangerine. And I just used colored pencils. But this is just my journal. Journal. Nothing fancy. And this will be the longest journal. I'm gonna have it for a while. Um, but yeah, so there's that, is what I'm in right now. I'll cut all this out. So that's my, my favorite sizes of Traveler's Notebooks in Folios are standard size. Loving this, loving it, loving it. Passport size and field note size. And I'm also loving the cork notebooks that Brie makes. These are, um, you know, it's not animal, it's, you know, earth friendly. There's, you know, I don't know, I've, I've, I've been thinking a lot about lots of things and, and I feel very content with these and how I'm using them. Like, once I've moved into these, I haven't moved out. Now you all know I flip-flop through a lot of Traveler's Notebooks, but these I've moved into, and I feel, I feel that peace. I'm not gonna say planner peace, because I think that, I don't think it really exists. You can make your system work in anything. Um, but I've, I feel content, I feel content in, in these. I, I don't want to move from them. I think that happens with others because I think it's, I second guess sometimes myself with purchases. These, I didn't second guess. I knew they were coming from Brie, you know, they're coming from a, a wonderful artist, they're coming from a person with integrity, and I'm not saying anyone else doesn't have integrity, but, you know, it just, I don't know, it just felt right, and I'm, I'm loving them. So, there's that. Um, I have... A pencil pouch with me at all times um, and when I'm at least when I'm at home I've had a few extra things with me um, let's just look in the pencil pouch first so I have one of those large skeleton clips I have a few more somewhere but I only really need one 
this we'll talk about in a minute. I got some washi cards that I put together. These are just um, laminate that was left over, and this is a um, sparkly something something co. I can't remember the names of those stores at all. Um, and just some of my favorite washi. And then when these run out, I put new different varieties on. So I'm constantly changing the washi tape that I have. I have my favorite lip balm. It's um, hemp infused from Ned, and this is peppermint. I think I have another one of those in here too. Yeah, this one is naked, so it's just bland, like, you know, no flavor. Um, got a little pair of scissors. I've got one of the Midori rulers that expands. Let's see, I got an Elmer's glue stick. I have a pen that I need to get a refill for. And this needs to get cleaned out too. I have my little burgundy Coeco pen. It's a really cute pen. I really like this pen. Let's see. I think I have a pencil in here. Yes, I have a Coeco black pencil. And it's not your typical pencil. It's like an artist drafting drawing pencil. Let me put that lead away so it doesn't break. I have, let's see, an eraser. One of those expandable erasers. Let's see, a mechanical pencil. Actually, two mechanical pencils. One's a tool and some one's some Korean brand, I don't know. And this is the lead that goes with it. Just a 0.5 millimeter. Both of those are 0.5. My handy dandy Muji in 0.38. An Arteza Inconic 04. It's a, actually a really nice uh, fine liner. It kind of reminds me of a um, Stadler Tri Plus fine liner. Um, it is not waterproof, so that's the only thing I don't like about it, but I love it. This is a um, 05 Uni Ball, like a Uni style fit, and it's in the blue black, just like the single one, but you can use this refill in the multi chamber pens. I just think that's cute. One of the um, like Bible highlighters in yellow. A tool ballpoint pen. And this is the Twin Tone uh, Tombow. It's got a fine point and a, um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's not a brush. It's kind of like a, I don't know. Uh, it kind of reminds me of my Twee Markers from Marteza. Um, I just like it because it's a lime color and I didn't want to break apart my set. And one other thing, I have a tool uh, permanent, it's kind of like a Sharpie pen, like a black Sharpie. But one thing that's nice about this, if you look down here, let's see how black, then when you lift it up, you can see where the ink is. So that way you can see when it's running out. It's one of the only pens like this I've ever seen, and I think that's a really cool feature. And then this, my Superior Labor uh, pouch um, from the stationery collection from, I think, August of last year. So that's the stuff that I've been keeping in my little pouch. And it's, you know, it's quite a little bit of stuff. Those have been in there, but we'll set those here. They are something else. Um, this is my 10th anniversary Traveler's Notebook, the um, little mini notebook. And this is the tin that it came in. And I've been keeping also more journaling items in here. Like I have a stencil, a letter stencil. Let's see, I've got a lot of stuff. Another letter and number stencil. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Now, here are some more of those cards that I've put oop, washi tape on. Even Starbucks cards. 
Um, and this way I don't have to have like all of these rolls everywhere. I had some on there, but that's, that's all gone. And then I do have, this is the only Kita washi tape I've ever gotten and I've, I've been using it. And it actually, having the washi on these cards, it's, I mean, this was full. This was full and I've actually refilled this. Um, this one was full, this one was full. So it's, it's making me use the stuff that I have. And then when I get bored with these, I put new on. And I gotta do something with those faces. Maybe I'm gonna figure out. Um, so there's that. Um, I, like there's some little washi, that's from Jane Davenport, I think. I have a little pack of flower stickers, some Bumkuchen tissue paper, like a little paper bag. These are little washi stickers from Job, from an order I placed for him. These uh, are two of Job, Job Journal's um, washi tapes that I bought. And I also got some stickers from him that were so cute. Um, but let's see what we have in here. I have three Ticonderoga pencils, one of the floral sparkly ones, one of the black ones, and this is actually just a um, an erasable red uh, pencil. So, um, actually they call it Carmine Red. Um, I think it's supposed to be used for teachers, um, but it kind of reminds me of the, um, uh, what is it, the... There's another erasable colored pencil, and it kind of reminds me of that. I have another one of the Arteza Inconic pens. I have a brown Energel in 07, one of my favorite pens. Uh, Sarasa uh, Airfit Grip. I have the, I've got a lot of pens in here. This is the um, Deloro, which came with one of my file effects. This is a fun, fun, fun pen. I gotta clean it, it's a mess though. It is a um, Airbine, uh, and it is a ballpoint, a refillable rollerball pen that has a um, charger or whatever it's called in there. Then I have the three Traveler's Company. Um, now these ones right here, this is my pencil. And you'll actually see, if I can get it to zoom in, it says right there, Brass Midori, made in Japan. This is the ballpoint pen, and it says the same thing, Brass Midori, made in Japan. And then this is the newest one I got, which is really patinaed, but it actually says Traveler's Company. And you'll see, it is the, oop, I need to clean it. It is the fountain pen. And those are quite fun. And and I love the way that they age and they look so cool. Uh -huh. Here is the <laughs> mini little 10th anniversary traveler's notebook. And I did put together an insert. And I have, it's a grid notebook. <laughs> It's so tiny, and I've tried to write in it. My little traveler's notebook. Great for little journaling and note-taking. March 2020, coronavirus COVID. Stops the entire world. Yeah, so that's what I have in there. Just my tiny little notebook. Another glue stick. A, another piece of paper. A Pentel and a Batsmaru Sanrio eraser. He's cute. Some replacement graphite. Some whiteout. Some post it notes from Coco Daisy from like three or four years ago. <laughs> These are those um, teardrop paper clips. I got this pack that had, oh, 50 or so in it on Amazon for just a couple of bucks. And that's the brand on Mia O Star. I just did like a teardrop paperclip search in Google. 
Here's a um, Porter Pieces stencil. Another little thing of washi tape. This has some stickers and stuff in it. Uh, the same Porter Pieces. This is lowercase, these are uppercase. You can see I love stencils. Here are two number stencils. This is the one from Amazon, and this is the one from Allie Brown from her, um, oh, that Bible journal kit thing. This is the only thing I kept from it, this and the stamps. Um, but yeah, you can see they're very similar. Allie's, the letters are, or the numbers are a little bit fatter and, and squashed and wide. Why these are a little bit taller and thinner. Um, I do have the manual factory bear. I did have him on one of my traveler's notebooks. My little Starbucks clip that I sometimes use to cut washi. And these are just some things that came with the traveler's notebook. So I'm gonna put this all back. So that means you can enjoy me watching, because I'll do this in speed. that and I love this tin. You can still find these I think at um, Baumkuchen and a few other stores but I love this because I can keep all of those journaling things that I go to almost every day in here. One of the mediums that I love are watercolors and I've got I've actually gotten rid of quite a few palettes but these are what I have left. <laughs> I got rid of all of my Jane Davenport watercolors. I got rid of all but one set of Primas, and I got rid of my Kuratake Gonzai Tambi. The husband loves those. And I got rid of something else, but this is all I have left. And actually, these are watercolors. These are these are colored pencils. These are just my Jane Davenport. I have two sets of these and I'm trying to use these so I can go into the second set so then I can just stay with my Arteza. And I mean, I like the, I love the pencils, don't get me wrong, but I just wanna, since I have them and I've used quite a bit of them, I want to use them more. They look really great in that tin. So colored pencils, another one of my favorites. Um, but these are my watercolors, and the only ones I kept, other than this cute little vintage pastel set from, um, and actually I used them tonight, they're still a little wet, um, from Prima. Other than these, everything else I kept were only my uh, Saint Petersburg from Nevskaya Peditra. Um, this right here is my original set, and I think what I love about um, those are the Jane Davenport swatches. Uh, this is the original set of 24 that I got. And what I love is their whole pans. 24 whole pans. I think for this 24 whole pan set, and it came in a very big studio palette, one of the big plastic ones with the removable. It's, it's a wonderful palette for a studio, but not for travel. And um, so that's why I put it in here. But um, like these 24 full pans was like $36 and they're an artist grade. They're, they're wonderful. They, they tend to stay a little sticky um, and I haven't in a long time read what the ingredients are, but I think they have a honey base, um, kind of like the, um, what's that, Schmenka, like the Schmenka set. Um, so this was the first uh, set that I got. And one thing that is nice is you can buy the St. Petersburg watercolor paints um, in pans, and you can also buy them in tubes, and you can only buy them in the holes, but you can buy them individually. So say, you know, 
you don't use a certain color that much, but your pan is getting low and you don't want to buy a tube, you know, you don't want to buy a full tube. I mean, that's, it can, it can be a lot of paint. So you can, you know, buy a whole pan for much cheaper than you can buy a tube. So that's like the original 24 set. And then after I bought those, I started buying some of their newer colors. Well, except for this. This is Daniel Smith Quinacridone Gold. Um, but like there's Quin Lilac, Quin Rose. That's a sap green. It's beautiful. Um, I think it's sap green. Yeah. A yellow ochre. I've got like three or four yellow ochres. I have. I love that color. And I. it kind of reminds me of Quinacridone Gold, but not as vibrant. Um, so I, I always, for some reason, put that on an order. And there's like violet and golden and all these other wonderful colors. Um, so I got those. And then recently, within the last year, I got, these are the pastels, which and this is where I, I feel conflicted. These colors are similar to these colors. These colors work much better than these colors. These colors are just chalky, 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 the Primas. And I can take my Russian ones and use some zinc titanium or titanium buff and create these colors. So I'm, I'm still questioning this set. It's still an iffy one. I'm not going to get rid of it yet. But these were the new colors for 2019. Um, these pastels, and then these are more of your bright primaries. And see, there I've got an ochre light. So pretty. That's like a Naples orange. This is a geranium red. It is gorgeous. This one is May green. It's, it's so vibrant. This is a Venice purple. This is a um, 531, 531. I'm trying to remember which one. Cobalt turquoise. Yeah, that's pretty. And this is like a, what, which one was that? 532. Cobalt blue, like a regular blue. That's the turquoise. That's a beautiful orange. Like a sunny lemon yellow. Naples light yellow. So those are the new ones that I got. And these are the only other Daniel Smith I have. This is a, a Prussian blue, and I love their Prussian blue. And then this is a uh, duochrome light blue. That's what that was. Those two are really pretty in layers. Um, but having these were a lot to carry. So something that I did was a year or two ago, for my birthday. You can see I've used these quite a bit. This um, is the palette that I actually travel with. And um, it's not the most convenient little palette. You can see it's quite weird. Um, but the little paint pans slide in and out, and they're still whole pans. Um, I thought of just laying them in here with that double sticky poster paste or whatever that, that blue blue tack stuff is um, and maybe I can fit some more colors in but these are the colors that I use to here's what they look like uh, to you know perfect for blending you're you you're, you know you've got your warm your cool and then you've got you know some like burnt umber sepia this one is um, lamp black I had to think of what it was in Russian. Um, yeah, so there are those. But this year, for my birthday, I had some little extra money, and I got this little palette right here. This is the Sonnet Studio Watercolors, and it's one of the first metal tins that they've made. They make them in yellow now, and these beautiful shades of purple. And I liked the yellow. And the Sonnet is their um, studio watercolors. Uh, these are the White Knights, which are their professional. And so these are just a little bit... Um, they're still good, um, but they're um, 
the formula is a little bit different, and that's why they're even able to offer them at such a, uh, a cheaper cost than the uh, White Knights. Um, but what I love about this tin is there's three rows, and they fit 21 watercolors in here. And then, if you pull this out, <laughs> if you, I can't. Um, you know, you got those extra weird mixing spots in there. It has the, and you'll see it didn't have that other flap. And I actually like that because I usually take those off. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's the same colors that you have in here, except there's a couple of missing. And it also has a, I got gunk all over it when I was painting with these. I did swatches and did some painting with them the other day. But what I thought of doing is, since these are new, I was thinking of going through all of my White Knights and putting the colors, the 21 that I want in here, and then saving these for when I run out of the others. And having this be my travel palette. So I have some more mixing wells with me. But we'll see. I haven't um, haven't decided. So there, those are my favorite uh, journaling supplies at the moment right now. I know it's um, not you know that crazy way out there. Oh, these! I forgot to show these. Let's rewind. These are my water brushes. These are the ones that I like using, or my paint brushes. Um, I do have, and they all just fit in this little Foxy Fix bag. Um, this is just a little mister, so I can spray on my watercolors to get them ready to go. Now, thankfully, the um, St. Petersburg have, um, the Nevskaya Pelitra, have uh, honey as the base, so they tend to stay, they're very easy to react. Um, but I do have a Jane Davenport brush. It's this little one, which is really great for fine details, and it's super portable, which I like. So I keep that in there. I don't use it that often, but I keep it. This was the very first travel brush I got. It's a silver black wing, and it is the Vo Voyage Round, and it is a number six. And this is the one that I tend to use the most. I remember Brie using these, and I thought I'd try one a couple of years ago, and I've, I've kept it and have used it ever since. I love it. And then just this last year, like, last year, like, in the fall, I got two uh, Skoda brushes. I do want to get a couple of other larger brushes, but uh, these are a Skoda uh, Versatil. I've got one in the size four, and I have this one in the size two. So my brushes are a two, a four, and a six. So I don't have like a very large plopping brush, but I like these because they're, they're, they're very light, they're compact, they're portable. And then I just keep these in this little pouch here with the little water mister. And then those, when I need them, go in my little pencil pouch. So those are my journaling favorites right now. What do you have that you like to use? Is there anything in particular that, you know, I don't have here that you use? Um, I, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of time having way too much and not using 90% of it. And so, you know, I've realized that the things I use are, you know, paper scraps, colored pencils, and watercolors. And I feel great with that. Um, I do have lots of colored pencils, watercolored pencils, and all of that type of stuff. But this is what I'm using right now. And we'll see what um, makes its way into my lineup. But for right now, these are some of those. Oh, she's got a horrible glare there. I hope she wasn't like that the whole time. 
So there you are, just a quick little look at my journaling favorites. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.